Hi everyone. Now we will talk about resource controller in Laravel and we will also see how we can make APIs with the resource controller. So first we will understand what is a resource controller, how we can make controller with the resource, then we have to write some code for APIs and uh, uh, we will define some routes for resource controller and at last we will test our APIs with the Thunder client. This is the playlist for Laravel 11 tutorials and that will definitely help you out for Laravel job, project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. Alright, so first understand what is a resource controller. See, a resource controller is a feature of Laravel. Whenever we are creating a controller with the help of a uh, command line in Laravel, that time we can pass a flag with the name of resource. And that will automatically create some functions inside the controller so that we can use these operations with the, you can say that for curled operations with the database or maybe some other uses. And these functions are like uh, uh, index, create, store, destroy, edit, update. So seems these functions are exactly used to uh, work with the database. And in case of defining the routes, we don't need to define routes for all of these functions one by one. So we can just define one route for all of the uh, these functions and that will uh, work with the API as well as with the website. So now let's see how we can create a resource controller so right now you can see that we have only one controller in our uh, controllers folder which is student controller. So let me create one more and first I will just clean this command line and then I just run command php artisan make controller and after controller we can uh, mention there student controller or maybe this is already created so let me create there member controller and uh, after that let's simply put there hyphen hyphen resource if i just enter there now you will see there is a file with the name of member controller and inside this we have lots of other functions so these functions can be directly used with the database or you can use them in any other way also but whenever we'll define routes for them we have to just define one route for all of these functions we don't need to define separate routes for each of the functions all right so now let's uh, go to the uh, routes folder and api.php so if you are working with the website then definitely you can define your route inside the web.php right now we are working with the apis so we will use uh, api.php file so we have to import this function first so maybe you can copy and paste that previous one to save time and then just mention there member controller right so now let's define one more route there and you don't need to put their get or something just simply put their resource and inside this you can put the uh, route name which is member and then uh, class name which is member and colon colon class all right yeah so now uh, the all of these functions will definitely work there is no issue so now let's see how they are working so let me open the uh, new request from there select the get request and now let's simply put their local host and member right so the path will be same till api after that you have to check whatever path you are putting for resource maybe member members website member whatever path you are putting there and just put there uh, we don't need this and if i just hit enter okay connection was refused because our php artisan server is not running so let me put there php artisan serve and now if we'll hit this route again you can see that 200 is there but there is nothing to return because this function is completely empty so let me return there something return uh, array and the key of this array will be result and there we can mention a list of members right we can just put their simple data we'll check these routes with the database also but first just check with the static data so now you can see that this is perfectly working fine. So same, let's say if you want to work with the post API, you can use the store method and you can say that, um, let's say new member added or something. And now if you'll choose their 
post request you will see this is perfectly working fine if you want to check use the post put or delete then you have to just use same method with some id because they are expecting id for edit or delete so let in the url so if i just put there 10 you can see that re uh, response is 200 but nothing to display there so let me just copy and paste in the update and you can say that member updated and i will see the result also so if you will not use their uh, this id you will just get a error there right so keep in mind with the put patch and delete you have to pass some id perfect so now let's say you want to use this create function because there is a create function also how we can use this simply you can just use their get and then uh, use their create function and it will definitely work as you can see there's nothing to return so let me create pass this result and you can say that member created or something right and there we go this is also working perfectly fine okay so now maybe you can see that okay get request is working everything is working so can we check anything with the database yes definitely we can check so let me check the index right which is for listing of the resource so first let me just take a student uh, variable and then maybe you can use student model it will automatically import it there if this is not getting automatically imported you can import it uh, manually right with the same code okay so now what you can do colon colon all right and uh, you can simply use this this dollar student or maybe dollar students because there are multiple students right so yeah now if you just hit it again you will see we are getting the response from the database uh, from this table student table here you can see that anil peter said so anil peter said so this is how you can use resource controller and resource create apis with the resource controller if you still have a doubt and you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching this part and this is my paytm for donation and please subscribe my channel like this video and share your feedback in comment section. Thanks guys.